morning 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 so it is the 21st of december coming up to christmas and i have started my period it's coming up to around like 10 o'clock now i woke up at nine this morning which actually is a bit later than usual i think i dozed for a bit too um i had a late evening last night because i was out at a christmas dinner with some of the other foster carers and uh, i don't have a little one at the moment so since last week uh, it's just been me basically and it's been very weird adjusting to it um finally kind of resetting a bit but yeah so back to my period i woke up this morning didn't feel anything just went to the toilet wiped and i was like oh i've got blood there i've started my period so um I just had some toast toast and jam just to put something in my stomach so i could take my meds which i've just done not feeling too bad right now um one thing i noticed last month was that i wasn't very good at taking my um oh, what should we call it donque and uh, something else which i was taking which i'll remember and i'll write up here which was for my um adenomyosis supposed to be something that was helpful and i got worse at taking them and that month i wasn't too bad actually like it wasn't too painful so i thought oh i wonder if I'll do it again, so I've reduced again this month what I've how much of it I've taken, just a little bit, kind of more towards the middle of my cycle, and then haven't really taken anything the last few days, other than my usual magnesium and um, zinc tablet. So we'll see how that is, and I've also been taking my CBD um, for the last few nights. This period actually started a little earlier than I thought, I thought it was going to start tomorrow or the day after, but um, I'm actually quite glad it's this day, because that means it's going to miss the whole Christmas period, hopefully. So yeah, um, not much to do today. I had a message from my mum last night saying that their internet's gone down and they thought they might pop over later to basically use my internet because mine's still working. So I might see them later, but otherwise it's just a very chill day. It's quarter to 12 now and uh, the pain really started kicking in about an hour ago. So uh, I think it might be the position I'm kind of lying in. It's sort of tilted backwards. So I'm going to move into the sitting room and see if sitting upright with some pillows behind me helps. Um, I'm currently watching The Baby Has Landed on the BBC, which is a show that follows like these different families when they've had children like the first six weeks, which is quite interesting. It's quite fun to watch. So that's currently what I'm doing. But like I said before, it's a very lazy Saturday I've got planned. Um, and I don't think my mum is going to come over today. She said that she's managed to get a hotspot to work, so she doesn't need the internet. Uh, so I may or may not see her later. Um, but right now, yeah, like the pain has started to, started to kick in again. God. I had such high hopes at the beginning when I started and hadn't had any pain, but yeah, no, it, it's kicked in. It's almost 5pm, and I think at around 2 o'clock earlier, so I moved out into the living room, kind of snuggled up there, had like my hot pack on my belly and everything, and was just trying to, you know, settle myself down for the day, to have a chill day with my laptop and everything, and I started to get really tired. So around, I want to say like two o'clock I came in here and I fell asleep and slept literally till almost 4 p.m. So I've had a two hour nap in the day. God knows how I'm gonna to sleep tonight. Um, and then I took some more meds and I woke up just before four. Um, and then and while I slept, I was fine, I hadn't bled. I seem to have kind of stopped bleeding for the time being and then it will pick up a bit later, I imagine. Thinking I might have a bath, um, I had a pot noodle for lunch because I keep it like specifically for the first day because it's so easy to cook when I'm having a lot of pain I need to take some, some meds, uh, so I ate that. I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner at the moment, maybe just some rice, I've got some hoisin sauce from a Chinese meal I had a while ago so I might just do some sticky rice to have with that, um, yeah, just <laughs> no idea otherwise. I'm re I've always I've noticed I'm always really tired on the first day of my period like even when I haven't lost much blood I'm really really exhausted so it just must be the hormones I know even when I had my little one that was the thing I struggled with the most was I was just so tired and I used to at the weekends I'd have my parents around um, or I'd go to my parents house for a bit and I could have a nap while they watched because it was it was the worst day that my period started at the weekend because during the week they were at school in the afternoon so I could always just kind of wait until they're gone and then have my nap then but because it, oh, it was on the weekend it was just poor timing that was a bit annoying um I'm still going through the baby has landed um program I'm on the last episode there's only four episodes I'm on the last one now I think I might treat myself to a new book tonight so I love reading so that might be fun and yeah just very very lazy day I don't know if I've talked about this actually um but I did film a period vlog for last month but I decided not to upload it just because I felt really low that whole month. I was going through a really tricky patch with my little one and I barely filmed at all at like the first few days and it just, it, 
it wasn't great so I decided to actually on the whole I think I'm not going to upload that one, it just it got the editing and I was so un uninspired by it, I didn't do it, so I'm going to leave that one. But that's why there wasn't a period vlog last month, for those of you that are wondering. It's quarter past six in the, no it's not, it's quarter past nine in the evening, and um, I just made myself some food about an hour, um, half an hour ago, and all it was was some sticky rice, some vegan chicken, and um, like some peas, and I was going to have it with some sauce. And then literally as I got the chicken out of the oven and I finished it up and I went to put it on my plate, I was suddenly hit by the, like, this like, wave of nausea. And I went, I can't eat this. Like literally felt so a little thought of it, but knew I needed to get something on my stomach. So I went and um, made myself a slice of toast, which I have now eaten as you can see. And that sort of solved the problem a little bit, but I still don't feel able to eat that meal. So I've got this whole pile of food I've just cooked, which I now can't eat. And it, the type of um, rice and chicken it is, well it's not even chicken, it's fake chicken. Um, it's not going to keep, so I'm going to have to get it, throw it away, which I don't really want to. But yeah, so I think I'll have another slice of toast and butter and then that'll just be me for the evening. Because I was just, oh, it was really weird, just felt so nauseous all of a sudden, for no reason. Just, oh. Um, I think I'm going to do that, and I also want to bath. I really need to wash my hair as well, and, um, as you can see, it's kind of greasy. I'm not sure I'm really up for it t for today, so I might just throw up in a bun tomorrow and then leave it as it is. Um got a message from my friend earlier asking if I was free tomorrow and originally I was going to do a, a walk with my mum um, but I wasn't, sh she's doing it with a group of women and she said I could tag along if I wanted to and I wasn't too sure whether or not I did want to do it um, and then my friend messaged me and said did she want to meet up in our local town to do the last of Christmas shopping and I thought actually really need to do that so I'll go and see her and also I don't think I've told her that my little one's left so I need to do that too, she probably knows but you know all these things going on and then tomorrow evening I had the carol service um, because it's obviously coming up to Christmas and I always like to go to the carols so we're going to do that but yeah just really weird to suddenly be hit by that nausea for no good reason like I said after I ate it was, it was almost like I was so hungry but I could only eat certain things yeah weird it's like 2.30 a.m. at the moment and I can't get to sleep um I can't find like a comfortable position. Everything like there's an ache or there's a pain and it's stopping me going to sleep. And I'm really knackered at this point. Ugh, it's awful. I had a bath earlier as well, so I mean if I had another one I don't think it would really help. It's just I think gas at this point. I've been to the toilet so many times, but just ugh. I'm thinking I might actually try and sit up for a bit and see if that makes any difference. Just put my laptop out, but really annoyed at the moment because I don't think I'm going to get much sleep tonight. So last night was pretty awful. Um, I woke, well, I didn't get to sleep, I think, till three something. And then, fortunately after I did, I did sleep through till about eight, which helps, but still wasn't enough sleep. Went to the toilet, came back to bed, and did get back to sleep, I think, and woke up again around 9.30, what's the time? 10, 10, 20, I have to take some more meds as well because the pain is starting to kick back in. But yeah, it was not the worst night I've had, but it wasn't great either. So I'm going to feel the effects of that today. Don't know if I'll be up to see my friend later, but I'm going to wait for these pain meds to kick in, have some food, and um, just see how I feel later on because I know I'm going to be tired. Uh, but hopefully, I should manage the carol service this evening and maybe see my friend the other day. It is now just coming up to half past 12 and I got a call from my friend about 10 minutes ago to say she was already in town and done with what she was going to do so do I want to come in earlier. So I've just quickly thrown on my clothes, dungarees, live in dungarees on my period, love them, I love them all the time actually but particularly on my period, they're great, can't recommend them enough. Definitely have a pair if you have like sensitive stomachs. So yeah, I'm just going to go jump in the car and go meet her and go shopping, do the last bit of my Christmas shopping. Thankfully she reminded me because I'd forgotten I hadn't done it all. I forgot about the bloody Christmas traffic. Oh god, seriously, it's awful. I really should have thought of this. There's two routes you can take to get to the town where I am, and I should have known better than to go this way. It's because of all the silly people like me that didn't do their shopping early enough. It's just coming up to 10 to 6 now. Um, I had some time out in town with my friend and discussed with her the fact that I was going to this carol service this evening, and she said she'd come and join me too. So at about, well, I think in about 10 minutes she'll be here. I just had a bit of a rest because like I'm just so tired. I can't get over this constant fatigue on my period now. I've had this for the last few months. 
I don't know why it suddenly pops up. I don't know if I've always been this way and just haven't noticed it because I haven't had a little one before. But yeah, just really, really knackered. Um, did actually, today I can understand why because I didn't sleep as well last night as I should have done. Um, but yeah, just, just feeling absolutely knackered. So I had a bit of a nap. And now I'm going to get ready to go to the carol service. <laughs> past 10 p.m. actually after the carol service my mum my mum came to it as well she took me home because it's Sunday so we always have dinner together we went and had dinner um, with my dad at home sat by the fire had a conversation about how the United Kingdom Great Britain and the British Isles are all different things which is quite interesting um, hadn't realized that and just talked about the random stuff and then she dropped me back just now um, I have quite a busy day tomorrow and I'm thinking I really need to wash my hair, like really need to, it's just driving me absolutely mad how greasy it is. So I think I'm going to run a bath and then wash my hair afterwards and then it will be time for bed. I have me washed and dried my hair and now it's time to go to sleep. Actually I was going to be putting some um, period underwear on but I've had a real like, I've been having a real love-hate relationship with period underwear at the moment. Actually with um, both period underwear and cups in general, um, but mostly the period underwear, I've I when when I first started trying it out I loved it because it's so thin and you can just sort of wear it and not have to worry about bulkiness and that but I don't know at night I just feel like I'm not I feel almost self-conscious I haven't got enough protection um, or it's really tight against me and it feels really wet I, I don't know what it is just something has kind of put me off period underwear in general at the moment so I haven't been using it as much over the last few months um, and even cups like I will still use a cup but mostly I'm just I'm sticking with cloth pads I've actually really been enjoying using cloth pads the last few months they've definitely been more of my favorite i've never been able to use cups on the first two days of my cycle anyway because i've always had too bad cramps sorry if you can hear my fan in the background um my cramps have always been too bad but i would typically put one in on the third day or fourth day and i will still do, still do that now if i'm going out but a lot of the time i actually just prefer like sticking a pad in um especially when i'm heavy i don't know why i just i find it more comforting so i'm going to go and put this um i think this is the earthshine Lux pad that I've just discovered in my drawer which I completely forgot I'd had and I'm going to put this one on tonight as it's my last um breathable top pad that I've got for overnight. Good morning! I slept till like 10.30am this morning, I can't remember the last time I did that. I did wake up a bit earlier than that but I didn't look at the clock, I just took some meds and my cramps started kicking in and went to change my pad and that was that. My hair is crazy this morning, um yeah like I can't remember the last time I slept in that late since I've had my little one leave. Um, Oh, well, since I had my little one and they've left, I haven't slept that late. But my period always screws up my sleep schedule. It's one thing that's always been really annoying about it. Anyway, it is actually currently about 20 past 12. I need to get dressed because today I have quite a busy day this afternoon, actually. This evening I'm going to go and see um, Coppelia, the ballet at the Royal Opera House, with my mum and my old dance teacher. Um, and Coppelia is my favourite ballet, has always been. Just a little bit disappointed because my favourite ballet dancer who was going to be in it, Stephen McRae, uh, unfortunately is injured and so isn't doing it, so that's the only downside to it. But I love Coppelia, I, I always have done. The name, Coppelia, I don't know. Just, I've always loved it, it's my favourite ballet, so I'm really excited to go see that. Um, and then earlier this afternoon, I've got my little one's new care, it's picking up the rest of their stuff. Most of it's gone, but there were one or two things I've just found, I've found throughout the last week that I've put together and some new clothes arrived that I'd ordered ages ago that I'd completely forgotten about, so I need to get them as well. Um, and then I'm actually going to go and have coffee with a new foster carer that I've met, um, who's local, and um, I, I'm just going to go and spend some time with them and, and get to know them a bit better too. So that's something else going on today. Honestly, I've spoke about it, spoken about this several times, but like the community around fostering is amazing and that's one of the things I've loved about doing it and as I've said before I think um, because my little one's not here I'm actually on call at the moment so at any point I could get a phone call saying we've got a little one that needs somewhere to go so that, that could happen any time over Christmas uh, so who knows when my next uh, child's gonna arrive but um, yeah while I still have free time I thought I'd fit in all this other stuff while I can so actually I need to start getting ready and getting up for the day I've just had a really lazy morning I completely forgot to vlog earlier. It's just coming up to five o'clock now. Um, my uh, lady was gonna come and pick up the other stuff, forgot about it today, so that didn't happen. 
Um, so I've still got some of those things I need to drop off after Christmas. Um, but I did go and have my coffee and that was really good. Now with this new Karen, that was lovely to meet her. And um, just got ready for the ballet now. I've got my nice smart coat on and my fancy dress. And I've just got my hair up um, in a half ponytail with a bow on the back. I always love making myself look pretty for the ballet. It's one of those things I really love doing. Um, actually, funny enough, it was supposed to be my mum, my dance teacher. I think I mentioned this earlier, but my dance teacher just had to pull out. So it's just going to be me and my mum because we couldn't find anyone else for the ticket at the last minute. But it should still be a nice night. And like I said, Capote is my favourite ballet, so I'm really looking forward to that. I put a cup in earlier on today, I think around like one o'clock. Um, so I've just left that in, it's the organic cup. Just left that in, put a pencil liner on, and I'll take a spare one with me just in case. And I've also, I've always got like a pad in my bag as well. Um, but I always like to have something just in case it doesn't work for whatever reason. But usually for going out like this, I will we'll put cups in. And like I said, for today, Days, today's day three, so I'm okay with the cup. I haven't been crampy at all. I think I've been, apart from this morning, I haven't taken any pain meds today, which is really great. So I think, knock on wood, that bit's over. The next station is Stamford Brook. All done. Just waiting for an Uber now. I think I completely forgot to sign off last night. Uh, literally got home, jumped to the bath, got into bed, fell asleep, was absolutely knackered. Even actually halfway through the show yesterday, I was really tired. I kind of had to close my eyes and try and sleep for a bit. Um, I love Capilla, it was my favorite ballet, and it was a great ballet show, but I was just really knackered. And earlier on in the day, like about an hour before I'd start getting ready for the ballet, like at four o'clock, I started feeling really like, shaky and like my heart was pounding and I was just drained and my right arm felt really weak it was really weird and kind of scary and I was going what is going on and then then when I had actually got ready and had gone with my mum and we were on the train ready to go to see Coppelia I remembered that I when I'd gone to have coffee with the other carer I had completely forgotten to ask which be decaf and I can't have caffeine it makes me really ill because it does that um, and that was why I was so like shaky and felt awful and then it was like ah oh, okay and then I realized I was fine and my mum I think realized I was fine too because she'd been a bit worried as well because some of this stuff has has happened before when it's um we've got heart problems that run in the family and there's all sorts of stuff so anyway that was a relief to know it was just the caffeine and I, just, I thought I was kicking myself why didn't I think mocha has caffeine in it anyway thank you so much for watching guys hope this has been um some interesting kind of period vlog oh if you're wondering um we've restocked the cloth pads the sparkle range just turn my fan off the sparkle range pads on the website so we've got this new little print called waves and oh, i love it absolutely and there's some of the old prints restocked as well in the sparkle range but yeah for those of you that were waiting for them to be restocked they are now up on the site thank you so much so much for watching guys please subscribe and i will see you next week bye everyone merry christmas and happy new year